In this lesson for Photoshop Elements 9, I'll show you how to restore an old vintage photo that you have scanned into the computer. This image I scanned at 300 ppi so that I could print the photo at the same size as the original. If I were scanning a very tiny photo or I wanted more detail, I would scan it at 600 ppi. Notice that in this photo, the children have dust and scratches on their faces and some white blotches on their clothing. There are also a lot of dust and scratches in the background. In the first step, we're going to remove dust and scratches and spots from the children's faces and clothing. Choose the zoom tool and then drag out a rectangle to zoom across two of the children's faces. Choose the spot healing brush and on the options bar, set the content aware option and click sample all layers. Rather than work on the original, we're going to work on a copy. So in the layers panel, drag and drop the photo over the create a new layer icon to duplicate the layer. And then again, with the new layer selected, create a blank layer above that layer. So click the Create a New Layer icon again to create a blank layer. We're going to put our spot healing edits into this blank layer. Now with our brush selected, let's move over the children's faces and let's make the brush tip just a little bit larger than the spots we want to remove. You can press the left bracket on the keyboard to reduce the brush size or press the right bracket to increase it and let's quickly blot out some of the splotches on the boy's face and then on the girl's face. The girl has a few other areas that look weathered on her face but rather than paint over them we're just going to blotch out some of the most pronounced areas and around the nose area as well. Just click lightly over each of those areas. And let's click some of the blotches on her hair. Notice that she has a scratch that runs through her hair into her chin. Very carefully, just click and drag to get rid of the blotch on her skin. And then click and drag within the hair area to remove that scratch in her hair. With the spot healing brush, it's important to be very careful not to straddle an edge between light and dark pixels because that may create an area of blur or smudging on your photo. The boy has some scratches on his collar, so I'm just going to click and drag to remove some of the scratches on his collar. And he's got a scratch across his jacket. Let's click and drag to remove that and another one there. If we move down we see there is a big splotch here that we'll remove, another one there, and some small splotches on his arm. Moving over to the other girl, let's get rid of these big splotches and then on her face we'll reduce the brush size and get rid of some of these dots on her hair. I'm not being very careful because I'm just showing you the technique. This process can be painstaking and take quite some time if you're trying to really restore an image faithfully. Now that we have the children's faces and clothing repaired as best as we can, Let's merge this spot healing layer with the layer below. So with that layer selected, right click and choose Merge Down. Now let's duplicate that merged layer again. And on the duplicate layer, we're going to use the Dust and Scratches filter. Right now, we're going to work on the background of the image. Notice how many scratches are on the background of the image. Let's first use the spot healing brush to get rid of some of the larger scratches 
and there's one long scratch here. We can click on the top of that scratch and then drag down and click on the other end to remove that whole scratch. From the filter menu, select Noise, then select Dust and Scratches. In the Dust and Scratches dialog, drag down the view screen until you see the uh, area next to the boy's head. The best way to use this filter is to first drag your sliders all the way to the left and then use the radius slider drag it to the right until the dust and scratches just disappear. The dust and scratches filter will make everything blurry in your image. If we want to restore some of the grain that we've removed, drag the threshold slider to the right until some of the grain reappears and the dust and scratches are just slightly present and then click OK. Now we've added a lot of blur to our image and we want to have our children's faces and clothing more in sharp detail. So on this layer, add a layer mask from the layers panel and then change your foreground color to black and using the paint bucket tool fill your layer mask with black. That will just remove the effects of the dust and scratches filter. We're going to paint those effects back in. Change your foreground color to white, choose the brush tool, use a soft round brush and let's put the opacity back up to a hundred percent. Let's increase the brush size, paint over the background of the image until all of the dust and scratches have disappeared and the effects of the dust and scratches filter can be seen. Our children are still in sharp detail but our background is blurred and the dust and scratches have disappeared. Let's now fix the color of the image. In the Layers panel, create a new Levels Adjustment layer above the current layer, then drag the white slider over to the left a little bit to brighten the image, and drag the black slider over to the right a little bit to increase the contrast and darken the image. If you are happy with the results, let's merge the last three layers we've worked on above the original layer. So in the Layers panel, click to choose each layer and press the Control key as you select it. Then from the Layer menu, choose Merge Layers. We are going to sharpen this merged layer. From the Enhance menu, choose Adjust Sharpness and then adjust the sharpness to your liking. I've chosen a radius of 1.5 and, and an amount of 90 percent. As you can see, the, some of the dust and scratches are still visible and the sharpening brings them out a bit. And if we had worked more closely and painstakingly with our image, we would have removed that. Our final result is now darker, sharper, and has gotten rid of much of the dust and scratches in the image. Let's look at the original result. You can press Alt and click the layer visibility icon next to the background layer to show the original picture and then press Alt and click the visibility icon again to show the finished picture. These techniques can be used on any vintage photos that you want to restore and if there are large tears in the image you might want to use the clone stamp tool as well which we will cover in a future video.